Hey everyone, welcome to this weekend Sidereal Astrology forecast for April 10th through the 12th of 2020. All right, so simple weekend, astrologically speaking. Uh, we do have the moon shifting sign three times though. Uh, so on Friday, the moon will be in balancing Libra, which will be great for creating more balance in our life and maybe balance in our interpersonal relationships as well. Now, once we do get to Saturday, we do get into that deeper energy of Scorpio, which could be really good for depth, healing, transformation, and empowerment, uh, which could be a great way of working with the weekend here. And then especially on Sunday too, once the moon shifts into healing of Ucas, uh, which can be great for all types of healing, of course, spiritual healing, but also physical healing can be great. And we may notice a bit of a transformation out of that going into Monday. So we are in the disseminating phase of the lunar cycle, which means it's a great time of implementing any shifts of awareness you've had from earlier in the week and a couple minor aspects. So let's go and take a look at all of this here in more detail when I return. All right, so here's the sky for this weekend. We're gonna look at this for each day here, first with Friday with the moon in Libra, then Saturday with Scorpio, and then Sunday with Healing of Fucus. So again, we are using the actual size of the constellations as seen in the visible sky. Um, as you can see here, these are very small constellations, or at least, for example, Scorpio and Ephucus do share the same part of the sky, and Ephucus isn't normally talked about in mainstream astrology. So if all this is new, if you're new to this form of astrology, Jeff, definitely check out that link down below for more information. All right, so let's go ahead and start here with Friday. We have the moon in Libra, the scales, which like, likely places a theme around creating more balance in our life. It's a really good time of bringing things back into balance. Um, it can be in our personal lives in terms of if there's any areas out of balance, great to bring them back into balance, but a great time of seeing you know, what is right and what is just, um, and maybe balancing things in terms of karma um, is a great way of working with the moon here, especially if it does involve interpersonal relationships as Libra can often signify, making it a great day for relating, uh, mutuality, and again, doing the right thing in those one-on-one -on -one connections. So on Friday, as we get into Saturday, we do have a minor aspect. Venus will be sextiling up to that healing Chiron. And so in this case, there could be an opening for maybe healing in those relationships this weekend. Maybe if there's any wounds that come up, they'd likely be minor, but uh, maybe connecting one-on-one -on -one with others uh, in the face of any wounds uh, could end up being quite healing. So great for all one-on-one -on -one stuff, psychology, spirituality, transformation, um, vulnerability, intimacy, uh, things like this can end up becoming very healing and therapeutic. And with Venus in Taurus, it is still a great time of seeing how we can uh, really enjoy the grounded elements of life. You know, it's a great time if we do do some healing to maybe connect to nature, maybe have a good meal, maybe some relaxation, some comforts. Uh, Venus and Taurus is a great time to really see what we can be grateful for in terms of that material level and also be grounded into Earth and our resources. So um, along with this, so once we do get into Saturday with that Venus still sextiling Chiron, the moon will shift into deeper Scorpio. So the theme on Saturday will likely bring up some deep things, which can be great for personal empowerment. So great time of psychology, spiritual transformation, facing fears, seeing what can be changed or transformed in our life. And since the moon does represent our sort of inner world, this can be inner things coming up for that, uh, you know, awareness. So whatever deep does arise, great to do that inner work. Again, great day for empowerment. And then as we do get into Sunday, we do have then Mercury in a minor aspect with Saturn. Mercury will be sextiling Saturn, which gives a bit of a grounded energy to our mind and communications, just on a minor note. So if there's anything you want to do that does involve thinking, learning, reading, writing, or communication, uh, could be a grounded day to do that Saturday and Sunday. We could be seeing the big picture, the long-term road, and the um, sort of disciplined perspective on things. And this is a Mercury in Pisces, which is where we also have the sun. So as a reminder, you know, the larger context is still around finding peace in life. So as it has been, it's still a great weekend for maybe rest, spiritual activities, 
doing things that are important to us on a soul level or spiritual level and with Mercury maybe using our intuition or our uh, sort of spiritual minds or spiritual perspective on things uh, to again bring in more peace, wholeness, and well-being into our life. So again, a bit of grounded mind there, but then as we do shift into Sunday, we will have the moon going into healing of Fucus. So Sunday is a great day for healing of all kinds, whether it's spiritual, mental, emotional, or physical healing can be great. And then when the moon passes over the galactic center over the later part of the day going into Monday, there'll likely be some transformation, something that maybe we've healed or something that we've empowered ourselves towards that then does lead to the more free-spirited energies of Sagittarius on Monday. All right, everyone, so that is the weekend in a nutshell. Very simple weekend, astrologically speaking, mostly the sign changes, um, finding balance on Friday, getting into the deeper dimensions on Saturday, great for things like research, uncovering things, and then um, on Sunday for healing. All in the backdrop, maybe some healing in those relationships and maybe a grounded mind with our thoughts and communications. All right, so everyone have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on Monday for the daily forecast. Take care.